Hey, uh, welcome back to another news coffee, coffee news that you love from us, the special number one coffee news channel, Dark Arts number one coffee. Uh, I'm Jamie and this is Brad. Today we're going to talk about a few different things within the industry. There's news, some of it's pretty interesting. Roll intro. <laughs> First up today, we've got a very interesting story that's come out of the science labs of science. We're talking about the best time to drink coffee. Some people tried to figure that out. <laughs> I'm something of a scientist myself. Obviously caffeine being a drug. Like, what's the best way to use that drug, basically? Optimum. 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 Coffee drinking time. That's it. When you want one? No? <laughs> like, surely it's like when you first wake up. That's what you would think. That's when I drink my first coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. They're saying that um, if you drink a coffee in the morning, uh, what'll actually happen is you'll build up a tolerance to the caffeine quicker. Why, I hear you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it has to do with a um, uh, naturally occurring chemical in your body, cortisol, um, which is what makes you wake up in the morning. So in the morning, um, at about eight or nine in the morning, your cortisol levels are at their sort of highest. And this is, the cortisol is, is, is swimming around your body and it's waking you up naturally. So if you put a coffee on that, um, what ends up happening is it counteracts the cortisol and then it actually means that eventually you're gonna build up a tolerance yep. and then you're gonna need more. How many Bacon's, coffees do you have in the morning? Sorry, uh, to cut you off. Um, two before I get to work and then how many, coffees do you, how many coffees do you drink in a day, do you reckon? About a liter. 10, 10 to 15 cups. Yeah, I think that's about me too. Especially with filter coffee. Yeah. Um, I think I'm on my probably my tenth now. I don't understand how they know that everyone it's has a, their cortisol levels at eight or nine in the morning. It, that's an average. It's between eight and nine. I guess that's the average time in which people are sort of up and moving around. For some people, it might be a little bit earlier in the morning. I imagine yours would be a lot earlier because you start work at seven. seven. Yeah. Uh, mine would be a bit later because I start work at about Three. midday. <laughs> <laughs> what time is the best time to drink coffee, I hear you ask? <laughs> uh, it's actually between uh, midday and 1 p.m. Basically, they're saying that you want to um, have a coffee between 12 and 1 or between 5.30 and 6.30. And they're saying afternoon, but that's kind of, that's well into the evening for me. I've already had dinner by that point. <laughs> what, well, what if you have it like way before your cortisol kicks in? Well, like, you suppose, I guess what they're saying is you don't need a coffee in the morning because your cortisol is going to do it for you. Yeah, but, but don't you want to like drink a coffee before your cortisol starts to kick in? So if your cortisol is kicking in between eight and nine in the morning, get up at like six, Maybe have a little pod machine next to your bed so you can start brewing before you've been out of bed. Before your cortisol knows what's going on, you're already caffeined up and then it's going to work from that level and just send you fucking flying. Like have, but, a, have a pod coffee while you're in bed at like <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think like, I'm, I'm going to move my pod machine to, <laughs> to the bedroom when I get home. So you know what, that, um, that actually brings us to our next story. Uh, oh. Jamie. Wow. You heard of the TV show Friends? <laughs> Sorry, have you heard of the TV show The Friends? The Friends. <laughs> <laughs> They've made a, a pod machine based on The Friends. Yeah. That's cool. It says like, it doesn't say Friends on it, it says Central Park. It does, but it says Friends on the, um, the coffee itself. Oh, okay. So they're, and they've, Do um, they have special flavors? They have special flavors. They've got is four all special like, flavors. Is it all based on like the characters? No, unfortunately, that would be, I would, We've preferred that because I guess whatever they got, they got caramel latte, cappuccino, latte mac, latte macchiato, and a um, cafe au lait. Hmm. I don't know why they've done this. I guess um, 
Things is a little bit more popular at the minute, isn't it? Because it's like, what, last year they put it all on Netflix? Oh, yeah. I feel like it, um, it was a, everyone was talking about Friends there for a while. By everyone, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not really much to talk about that other than um, just it letting exists. any of you out there know that, you know, if you like Friends, fucking news. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Square Root Soda. <laughs> Friends of ours just over the way. Um, amazing juice. East London made, East London bottled sodas. Lemonade, ginger beer, black currant sodas. The guys at Square Root have a um, discount code going right now for 20% off everything on their online store, or maybe just their sodas, I don't know, but basically 20% off. You want to hit them up, the coupon code or discount code is Dark Arts. Um, these guys are doing a really amazing thing. Amazing juice. They're pretty much the only people doing a full fruit to um, fruit to bottle uh, process. It basically means that they deal directly with um, the orchards, with the growers. They import the, the fruit in big pallets and then they just squish it down, put it in a bottle, fizz it up. Amazing juice. Yeah, so it's all natural. It's got less sugar than a normal drink. Um, support, small, support local. These guys are killing it. Support um, your local uh, soda jerks. Yeah, support your local. <laughs> 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 Amazing juice. Sorry, I, didn't know, I thought you were finished. No, no, I'm just like saying things so you can cut cut it in. Right. It's just going to make you sound stupid by saying that. Yeah, no. So recently, um, you may have noticed if you like looking at coffee things on the internet, uh, especially on YouTube, you would have noticed that um, Mr. James Hoffman of Square Mile um, Coffee Roasters just recently did a like a group cupping, uh, coffee tasting, where he sent out uh, coffee into the world. You could, you could buy yourself a coffee pack, and then you, you, you kind of did it all together, and he streamed it online. I caught it online when it was streaming, and it was at about 10,000 people watching at that point, which I thought was quite impressive. So uh, we reached out to Mr. James Hoffman uh, to see how many um, packs he actually sold. If you were to, to have a guess. What do you reckon? Like 5,000? It's actually fuck loads more than that. Huh. 17,000. Fuck. Yeah, man. So they had 17,000 well of these packs went out all around the world, which is fucking that's, that's, that's crazy. That's incredible. The most I think he said he had was 11,000 concurrent like viewers at one time on the, on the stream, which is, again, that kind of blows my head off in regards to like people interested in coffee and willing to um, get involved in something like this. So, um, massive well done to Mr. James Hoffman. That's um, fucking impressive. Yeah, so obviously he streamed it, but you can actually go back and watch it. I'm not too sure, I don't think you can buy the coffee to do it after the fact. I think it was like a one-time deal I to get involved it, yeah. in. Um, but yeah, here's a clip of um, Mr. Hoffman. This is the only thing that will touch your lips. Ah, let's taste some coffee. You can be a bit more aggressive like that. I know you like a slurp. Uh, this brings us to our birthday coffee again. It's still October, still birthday month. The dark Hearts, as you probably know, um, International World Coffee Day is on the 1st of October in honor of Dark Hearts birthday month <laughs> as well. So. <laughs> yeah, and if you missed it last week in last week's episode, we'll, we'll run a quick video of the uh, machine we're giving away. Um, but yeah, you can win that machine. All you gotta do is 
buy a coffee. Buy um, The Devil Looks After His Own, which is a beautiful coffee from Ecuador. It tastes delicious. Yeah, um, all, the, all the response coming back is that people love the coffee. Yeah, that's good. We could have got a really shit cheap coffee to do this with and tried to maximize profits. But that's not, it's just not cool. No, it's well that's what, what I would do. like to do. He didn't like it. Go buy some coffee, links in the description. So apart from, obviously, International World Coffee Day, and more mm -hmm. importantly, Dark Horse Birthday Month, mm. the other huge uh, significance of October in the coffee industry is, it's pumpkin spice latte season. <laughs> it is pumpkin spice latte season. It's pumpkin spice latte season. Spice latte? I've never tried a pumpkin spice latte. Have you ever tried a pumpkin spice latte? I have also never tried a pumpkin spice latte. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I like this little guy. Yeah, yeah. So basically we figured out that everyone on YouTube making money is doing reviews of... Um, Things? Like consumables. So we thought we'd dip our feet in. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. All right. So um, what's with the... It smells like fucking... It does smell really delicious, doesn't it? I'm so surprised that's still warm. Fuck, that's delicious. Man, that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I guess this, this is this is like a uh, yeah. Into this. I mean, it's it kind of just it kind of just tastes like chai, right? Yeah. We got the oat milk ones. I definitely can't taste any coffee. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's that much coffee, <laughs> right? Oh, Probably yeah. like a double shot. I mean, maybe if a Starbucks double shot's like that, it's still like... I mean... Dude, it's great. <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is fucking... Oh, one of those like woolly hats with a little floppy bit on top and some fucking Uggs and... Is this, is this something that's big here in the UK and has been? Or is this just a, like a Starbucks thing? Because I, I... I got like a... I'd never heard about it before I came here apart from like watching movies about America. You know, and like your social media tells you, oh, like however many years ago you posted this. Yeah. And it was like a picture of a pumpkin spice latte advert at Whole Foods in Central, like 2013. So it's been here for a while. Okay, so that was the kind of, you took a photo of it. Because Cause it was, was like new. a new thing, yeah, yeah. Right. It's like drinking a pumpkin pie. You know when you get that canned pumpkin for when you're making pumpkin pie? I've never made an American style pumpkin pie. I mean, it's delicious. Solid five out of five from me. Five out of five? Five out of five. I'd probably go, yeah, solid five out of five. Five out of five. Ugg boots? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, I'd, it's starting to get very sickly. We should have gone for it. Call it tall. Yeah, I am. What did we get? Venti. Is this the biggest? Yeah. I mean, how many ounces like, do you reckon that is? 16? Like, yeah. It's called a venti because it's 20 ounces. 20! Venti! Is that true? I don't know, I'm starting to get like a weird, weird little head rush. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling kind of jittery. There's a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of sugar in this. <laughs> how much sugar do you reckon's in this? Um, probably like, hang on. <laughs> about like 47.2 grams of sugar 47 yeah not i reckon maybe about 58.5 <laughs> can you google that as well i can't i can't even remember which one was right 55.7 ah, oh, 13 both. teaspoons oh, i'm actually really lightheaded yeah <laughs> i can feel a barrier like my body's not wanting to have anymore how about you i'm actually kind of struggling yeah oh fuck it's actually starting to get really disgusting <laughs> I don't, I can't know if I can do it. Do you reckon you can finish it? Mm -hmm. You're gonna do it? Oh, I'm gonna give myself a fucking migraine. Yeah! Oh, God. Oh, man. I need to sit down. <sighs> well done. Oh. 
I don't know why we did that. <sighs> Toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for coming. Bye. Um, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Bye.